So hopefully you're watching these videos in succession. In the first one we looked at just what the general concept of a confidence interval was and then I walked you through what it would feel like to um, solve one that is a confidence interval for the proportion. And in that process we looked at a formula that had the error equaling z alpha over 2 square root of p hat q hat all over n. And this formula is how we're going to calculate the error every time we have a confidence interval for the proportion. And what we saw is that p hat will either be given or you can access it through an easy division. Because of p hat being easy to find, q hat is also easy to find. It's 1 minus that p hat and n will always be given. And so we'll have everything we need in order to get that underneath portion. So the question is, how do we find this z alpha over 2? So that's one notation for a single value that goes in. And the notation is actually trying to tell us how to find it. They commonly refer to this as a critical value. So if you hear the book ask for critical values, there's these z values for that first section. So let's talk about how to find it. The first thing it's telling us as we look at it from left to right is that we're going to be using the z distribution. Well the z distribution is that equivalent to a normal distribution and so we know where we're going to get this, this uh, value from. We're going to get it from the A2 table. right? We're going to get it from the A2 table. And so the next symbol in there is alpha. Alpha is equal to 1 minus the confidence level. And so how we get the z alpha over 2, there's going to be a, a certain number in there that's going to allow us to know how to get the z alpha over 2. And that is the level of confidence or the confidence level. So the confidence level in the last one that we looked at was 99%. Other common ones are 98%. Ooh, that's not true, 95% and 90%, sorry. Not 98%, but 95%. And so let me get a, a 5 better in there for you. So those are very common ones, but we'll be able to do anything because that Z chart's so robust. So when we were asked to find Z alpha over 2, what's happening is, let's suppose our confidence level is 99%. If our confidence level is 99%, and how we'll know that is in the question, it will say find the 99% confidence interval. If it's 99%, then what's happening is we're sandwiching in 99% of the data right in the middle. And what z alpha over 2 is, it's this z value right here that's the upper cutoff. Well, if 99% in the middle, then 1% is on the outside. So remember what alpha is. Alpha is 1 minus the confidence level. So in our case, alpha is 1 minus 0.99, or this 1% I'm talking about. But the 1% is going to be equally split. So half of it's going to be up here, and half of it's going to be down here. So be careful, it's 0 0.005 for half of percent. So notice the notation. It's telling us that what goes into that tail is the alpha divided in half, because confidence intervals perfectly center 99% of the information. Well, if I want to find z alpha over 2 in my chart, I really have everything that I need. What I know is that that chart will tell me what the z value is, provided I'm able to give it area to the left. So if I look at the full area to the left, which is what the chart's going to want, it is 0.99 plus 0 0.005, or 0.995 to the left. Then we'll turn to our chart. So let me turn to our chart and we'll come in to our chart and we're gonna go find the closest we can to 0.995 so sorry about these marks that are here from before let me get rid of some of those as I walk somebody through a problem um, I didn't erase it the last time I was in here but we're looking for the closest we can to 0.995 and maybe we'll see it but our experience has been we often don't um, see it so let me get rid of that. So let's go find the closest we can to 0.995. And as we look for 0.995, what we're going to see, and I'll make this a little bit smaller, is that it's hopped over right here. Almost perfectly hopped over. 
In fact, I'll take the word almost, perfectly hopped over. This one is, the 9949 is one below. This one is one above. But notice that there's an asterisk right here. If we follow that asterisk down, it's going to tell us 0.995 is associated with the critical value 2.575, or the z-score, 2.575. So, let's go back to our, our problem. And if you can remember that last example that you looked at, we um, we came up with that same uh, number. I had just magically come up with it. But the z alpha over 2 for our problem is 2.575. So it doesn't matter what the setup is. If it's a 99% confidence interval, that directly corresponds to 2.575. So what if it's something like, let's try another one, say like 98%. Well, if it's 98% confidence, then what that's going to allow me to do, let me write the word confidence in there. So they'll say find the 98% confidence interval. So if it's a 98% confidence interval, you're going to try to find this Z alpha over 2 that has 98% in the middle. Because it has 98% in the middle, there's a 2% left over, and half of it goes here, and half of it goes here. So we're going to go in to get this Z alpha over 2 by looking at the full area to the left, and take the 0.98 plus the 0 0.01, and we're looking for 0.99. So if we go back out to our chart, and I bring that up again, if we want to find the closest we can to 0.99, well, let's get in here and see what we can find. So here's some 0.99s. There's a 0.9949. That's what we did before. But we want 0.99. And here we see that it's jumped over. This one right here is closer, though. 0.9901 is closer. So let's see where that is. That's in the 2.3 row. And if we travel up, it's in the 0.03 column. So it's in the 2.3 row and it's in the 0.03 column and so our value is 2.33 so the critical value or the z alpha over 2 value is for 99 percent or sorry 98 percent is 2.33 that's how you find these critical values